Leading lines are a simple but dramatic way to make a difference in the composition of your images. You can use them to create a depth of field and lead the viewer to focus in on a subject. Leading lines can be found everywhere, man-made and in nature, so always keep a lookout for them. Take a look at this example here. So here we are set up on the wharf. We've got a really nice shot here. And we're gonna to start to show you how to use leading lines. So let's move back a bit and get a shot without leading lines. One of the best tools you can use is actually your feet. So if you step back, change your angle of your camera through a little bit, and start to pick up the lines, which direct our eye directly through to the model and looks really good that way. Getting the right exposure is not as hard as it seems as long as you tell the camera which part of the scene you want exposed. Modern day metering gets it right about 90% of the time, but here are some modes that will help you get it right every time. You'll find that most cameras have three to four different metering modes, evaluative or multi-metering, partial metering, spot metering, and center weighted metering. We'll focus on the three main modes. Matrix metering. The camera takes into account the whole scene in front of it and then adjusts the exposure accordingly so everything is exposed on average. This mode is useful for general scenes but cannot expose properly in tricky lighting situations. Spot metering. This metering method measures the middle 1% of the scene. It's extremely accurate on that section and disregards the rest of the image. This method is used mainly in scenes where there is a big contrast and the most important part is in the center of the frame. For example, a backlit scene. Center weighted metering. This metering method concentrates on the middle 70% of the shot and the outside of the frame is less significant. In summary, if you'd like the whole scene metered, then choose matrix metering. If the center of the image is more important to you, then you would choose center weighted metering. If nothing else matters in the shot, just the subject in the center, you can safely use spot metering. This is a classic scene to uh, use spot metering. You've got a backlit scene here where you can almost hardly see the subject because the sun's so bright. And you take a few shots in matrix metering and all you end up is the silhouette because the camera's trying to take a photo for the whole scene in front of you. You can try center weighted but it still won't do much good. So the only real way you can do this is by using your spot metering and go up close to the subject and aim your spot metering right on the center of the face and you'll see that the camera will just meter for the face blows the background out a little bit but you'll get a really good picture of the subject in front of you